Hi guys. Since this is the finale of soloing Scarlet Monastery Dungeons, I thought I should be talking in it. I have cut the video a bit this time to make it shorter, but I'll show you the whole boss fight in the end with epic music. What comes to soloing Cathedral, there ain't much new to learn or anything that is out of ordinary compared to Graveyard, Library or Armory. I tried to go in at level 39 since then you still have the BFD world buff, but actually I lost the world buff when I leveled up and got out of combat, so that was pretty much it for that plan. I really think level 39 with world buff is better for this than level 40 without it, since the 3% hit you get is very good and you pretty much don't ever miss your drain life. So if you're still leveling, go and try it. When soloing Cathedral, your spec remains the same as before in these videos. If you're level 40, don't take the Affliction ulti talent, it really sucks. I tried it and it's just a waste of global since life tap gives you so much more mana. Use that spare point you have to get more stamina or to buff your curse of weakness since it's quite used to spell. If you're thinking on consumables, get Mighty Troll's Blood Potion and some Armor Scrolls. Ok, now about tactics. When it comes to clearing your way to the end boss, some trash mobs can be challenging because of high physical damage. I recommend you use Curse of Weakness against Scarlet Myrmidons, Scarlet Centurions and Scarlet Monks. Scarlet Champions hit especially hard with some sort of holy damage purge which makes about 450 instant damage and this can surprise you but their normal hits ain't higher than any other mobs. I actually ended up wiping once against the Champion and the Centurion since I didn't bother with Curse of Weakness. Also Scarlet Abbots heal a lot and they can be a pain if you need to kill several in the same pool. I pulled two Abbots and a Champion and I had to fight several minutes against them. So try to focus down Champions and Abbots as soon as possible. Also while killing trash mobs I find a good spot to kill the boss if it's hard. I think some AoE mages are using this bot, but actually because killing your way to bosses and the side rooms took so much time, I had respawns here so I ditched that idea of it pretty fast. What comes to bosses, Fairbanks is pretty easy. Just toss him when he casts and you should be just fine. Remember to clear all side rooms before the last boss. Now the actual last boss or bosses were actually easier than I had anticipated. I had a respawn mob to come to the fight in the beginning and even that was no problem so if that happens to you, keep your cool and try to make sure you have your healing dots up. Use weakness on Scarlet Commander Mograin all times and keep him dotted otherwise. Well actually in phase 1 you can use agony to make it a bit faster, he doesn't really hit that hard. In phase 2 you can lose High Inquisitor White Mane's cast pretty easily with a column so do that as much as possible all throughout this fight in phase 2 and 3. Try to get good health and mana situation before transitioning to phase 3 which happens when she gets to 50% HP. You can achieve this by not using your damaging spells and keep your drain life and siphon life active. When she resurrects Mograin, put your drain life up fast and siphon life both. Weakness on Mograin. Keep losing and keep your dots up and pet constantly hitting high Inquisitor white man, which you wanna focus down first. Rest of the fight is pretty much phase 1 all over again, so it's pretty easy. This whole run took me about 45 minutes and I wiped once without soulstone. I think the XP and gold gains are pretty much the same as doing any other Scarlet Monaster wing dungeons. Sorry I have a bad flu and my voice is a bit down, but I still hope you enjoyed this video of me talking through it. I'll be heading into Race of a Downs Nest and see how that goes. I was also thinking I should be making an in-depth guide for soloing dungeons with Warlock where I would be going through all the little bits about movement, tactics, certain spell usage, etc. Now if that is something you guys wanna watch. If you're interested, hit that sub button.